Now as a one-handed usage accessory, I'm not a big fan of the normal pop socket. The Otter Pop is better, but nothing really compares to Aaron and I's favorite, the Loopy Case. <laughs> but these pop grips on that phone and this pop wallet, these are actually something else. So in the next few minutes, we're gonna review the pop grip. We're gonna compare it against the Otter Pop. We're gonna review the Pop Wallet Plus and then compare it against other wallet accessories like the Apple leather one, as well as the Muffed Wallet. If this is the first time you're watching one of our videos, you can hit subscribe and the notification bell. We are all about unsponsored content. What do you say, Monty? You're covered in grass. He really is. Now just to be clear, these pop socket accessories will only work with the iPhone 12. These products require the use of the MagSafe attachment feature found on the 12s. The premise of the pop grip is simple. There's a pop socket on a piece of plastic that covers the back of the iPhone. There's magnets in it. And if you've used a pop socket before, you will kind of feel right at home with this product. Now the most obvious downside of the pop grip is that it might come off. Though through our testing period, the only time it came off was when it was caught on my back jean pocket. At no point while I was using the pop grip that I feel like my phone was going to fall off the product. Val and I have been able to pick up our iPhones with cases on them with the pop grip without any issue. Now, if you've watched our Moth Wallet review, you know that that product really doesn't stay on well. The Moth Wallet comes off the iPhone at about a height of five centimeters. This pop grip, well, stayed on till around 26 centimeters. Now, before any of the Muff lovers cry bloody murder, I do realize that the pop grip doesn't hold any cards, but the pop wallet does this thing. And is it any better? Well, do keep watching. So the magnets in this product are pretty strong. Now with that out of the way, removing the pop grip is simple as, well, you just gotta pull it off. We all admit that having to remove the pop grip to use with normal wireless chargers might be annoying for some, might be a deal breaker, especially when you forget to put it back on at the beginning of the day. Now between the pop grip and the auto pop, we'd go with the pop grip. Now technically you're not supposed to use the pop grip with a case. So technically on paper, if you need the protection of a case in a pop socket, you need to go with the auto pop. But for the last few weeks, we've been using the pop grip and wallet with a variety of different MagSafe enabled products. And we haven't found any issues as long as the case, again, is MagSafe enabled. Now with that out of the way, between the two, we'd go with the pop grip. It offers the same amount of flexibility, if not more, because you can actually use your iPhone without a case with the pop grip grip. So Val, what are we crushing today? Peach bourbon smashes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're so good. Oh, mm. that ginger beer and the thyme. So good. That is something else. Now between the Pop Wallet Plus and the Pop Grip, I actually really like this Pop Wallet Plus. In fact, this is one of the very few accessories that I've seen over the last like six months that I actually really like, which is a weird thing for, to me, for me to say about a pop socket product. What was the last product you really liked? The last product that I felt this way about this thing was actually the Magic Keyboard for the iPads, which came out over a year ago. So like, it's been such a long time, like it's so hard to come by. With the Pop Wallet Plus, you get the benefit of the Pop Socket and a wallet case. Now, I've been using the Pop Wallet Plus with three cards over the last while, but I've been able to strong arm seven cards into the case. To access the cards, you just have to press up on the cloth part and the cards come out. You really can't control what comes out, they just kind of all come out at once. So, if you're finding this video useful, consider getting all your stuff through our Amazon links because Pop Socket did not sponsor this video. We buy all this stuff ourselves and we use it because that's what we do. Reviewers, not influencers. So technically, this is one of the higher capacity wallet things that we've reviewed. Most products products hold between two to three cards. This Pop Wallet Plus could hold between four to five. I managed to fandangle about six to seven of them into this thing, but it was really hard to get out. The only other product that would be up there in terms of card capacity would have been the Magbok, Magbok, Magback wallet from our perspective. It's a great peach. And when it comes to attachment strength, the Pop Wallet Plus isn't as strong as the Pop Grip, but it stays on at about 15 centimeters, which is 10 centimeters more than the Moth Wallet case. Now, at no point in our testing, like the Pop Grip, did the Wallet Plus feel like it was going to come off my iPhone. I've been using this product with the Mouse Limitless 4.0, and it's just a killer combination because you have the top-notch protection of the Mouse product, and your handling just gets better with the Pop Socket. And here's the great part. If you don't need the wallet, you just take it off, and your iPhone is still well protected if you've got a MagSafe case. When it comes to wallet accessories, I do like the Pop Wallet Plus over all the other products that we reviewed. The Apple Leather Wallet, well, it feels very, very nice. It's very expensive, um, but it just, it doesn't do a whole lot. Um, we've done a 
deeper video or a more comprehensive review of all the different card wallet products that we've used over the last year, so do check that video out. Now when compared to the Moth Wallet, there's really only two things that the Moth Wallet does better than the Pop Wallet Plus out of like 20. The first is that it's not as bulky. There are more edges on the Pop Wallet Plus to be caught on than the Moth Wallet. Now don't be fooled because it basically just takes a gust of wind to take the Moth Wallet off your iPhone, whereas the Pop Socket will basically stay on until you want to take it off. The second thing that the Moth Wallet has on top of the Pop Wallet Plus is that you don't have a portrait stand mode. That's a really nice feature on the Moth Wallet. I do appreciate that design feature, but neither one of these things means much to us because the Moth's Wallet ability to stay on the iPhone fails in comparison to the Pop Wallet Plus. And what's the point of an accessory if you have to constantly worry about it coming off the device that you bought it for? It doesn't make any sense to us. Oh, cheers, all right. <laughs> What's the first thing that comes to my mind when I say the Moth Wallet? Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Not the drink, the wallet. <laughs> So that's all we got for this video. Questions, comments, leave them down there. If there's something else you want us to review, well, let us know in the comments section below. If you feel like helping us out, PopSocket didn't pay for this video. We went and bought all this stuff ourselves. It's unsponsored content, it's real usage. Come on, guys. Um, get your stuff through our Amazon links. That's the best way to support us. What else? Uh, you can support us through Patreon. Mm -hmm. Anything else? No. Well, you can go subscribe to our other channels. Oh yeah, cocktail reviews, eh? We show you how to make this thing. This is such a great summer drink. And fit gear reviews, eh? Because yeah. we're super fit. <laughs> Aaron is, I'm not. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs>